Watch out, I'm coming at you with another Gore's Recent Game Pickups video! It's been a few days since my last one, and uh, you know, I'm just making up for uh, lost time with all those uh, months where I didn't do any Gore's Recent Game Pickups. So, I gotta really uh, just like, you know, uh, step on the gas and go. Uh, before we get started though, make sure you hit a like and a comment and subscribe or whatever. You know how it is, YouTube. Because, uh, uh, why not? I don't ever ask except for the times i do so this is one of those times so it's red solo cup it to the like and then i take a sippy mm. Ooh, that's gonna kill me anyway this episode i have nothing but video game lots except for the two things that are not video game lots so i'm lying to you uh but everything i'm about to show you besides two things are video game lots from offer up and makari um, if you don't know what I mean by video game lots, cause that sounds a little weird, just, you know, lots, you know, just like a, you order a, a, a thing on whatever, and it comes with a lot of that thing. You know what that means. Uh, so, uh, three orders I've made on two on offer up and one on Macari. And, uh, and there was a lot of video games associated with all three of those purchases. I don't know why I have to explain it, but every time I say video game lots, I just feel like someone's confused. I don't know why. It's the internet, so someone might be confused out there. I just want I, I want everybody to realize what that means. Anywho, uh, but I also, I also got two other things that are awesome purchases that I want to show off in this episode. Mainly because I just sold both of them earlier today, and I want to show them before I have to ship them off. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anywho, let's get to it. Let's start off with those two games that are not um, uh, lots. I forgot the word. I said it like 25 times already in this episode, but whatever. All right. So first off, I picked this up. I, I went a little crazy. I'm not going to lie. Usually when I see a game that's just one game, I don't spend $50 on just one game. But this one, I was like, I was, I just had a feeling. I was like, ooh, I think, I think this is going to be a good purchase. And for $50 plus, I think like, I think it was $3 shipping, but then it was like $57 after tax. So, you know, let's, ra let's round it up. Let's say $60. For $60, I picked up a copy of Sonic Riders on GameCube. Now you're probably like, Gore, that's like a $20, $25 game. Are you smoking it? you doing something this is factory sealed baby factory sealed and these usually sell between 70 to 80 dollars now you're probably like but gore you said 60 is what you bought it for 70 to 80 dollars that's not a big profit um it's not you're right but i saw recent sell sales um because i looked on price charting price charting said it, it sells like 70 to 80 but recent recent sales for this Actually, we're like around 100, 110. So I put this up for $125 yesterday, and it sold today for $125. So, and that's before eBay takes its cut. So I, I made a good amount on this game. So, and I already have this uh, not sealed, and I don't really collect sealed games. So I definitely sold it. So Sonic Riders, you gonna go bye bye? It's a really nice looking copy too. It has like little marks here and there, but it's really nice. Um, really nice seal too. That'll look good in a collection, that's for sure. So whoever bought it, it's coming. Uh, now let's talk about another sealed game that I got that I sold yesterday. <laughs> it's weird. but And they're, and it's also a Nintendo game, so it's a little weird. Um, not that Sonic Rise is a Nintendo game, but it's on game. You know what I mean. Um, this, I, I bought this for $25 on OfferUp. And I was like, that's a really good deal just for this game, even if it wasn't sealed. But it was sealed, and I just sold it for 70 bucks yesterday, and that is a sealed copy of Wii Party on the Wii. As you can tell, it says Wii. Um, looking for this game is actually kind of annoying on, on eBay, because I was like trying to look up sealed copies, because I bought it immediately. I sent him an offer, I said, hey, uh, I think he only wanted, he might have wanted less, and I offered 25 I can't remember. But uh, I made sure to get it, and I got it, and it is sealed. It's a nice looking copy, too. Pretty, pretty nice. Not like amazing, but it's definitely sealed. It's got a nice seal on. Well, I guess both of them don't really have the seals, but plastic wrapped. So, yeah, GameCube just kind of never had a seal, did it? Actually, I feel like it did. Like a, a, you know, like one of those sticker seals is what I'm talking about. Um, but both uh, Xbox and PS2 had those. But um, yeah, it's really annoying searching for that on eBay because you look up Wii Party for Nintendo Wii or just Wii Party. 
and then it'll give you a bunch of other shitty party games that that are out and stuff. And like right when I searched it up, I looked up We Party Sealed New. Those are the keywords I use. And immediately gave me like these really crappy shovelware games. And then like I had to scroll all the way down to see one Wii Party. And it wasn't even sealed. It was like, whoa, okay. Um, and then I looked up on sold and it the same thing. Um, but I found some and I sold mine for 70. So made a good amount there. So there you go. That is it when it comes to just single purchases. Now everything's going to be just lots. You know what? Let's start off with the Makari purchase. Because this one was was sweet, but not the best Um well, maybe second best. I don't know. We'll have to talk about it. Anyway, this one is a stack of just here. I'll just show you the, the side here. There you go. Just a stack of stuff. Just random PlayStation stuff. So we got from not every generation, obviously. There's no PS4 and PS5. But we have PS1 games, PS2 games, and PS3 games. So we're covered in the first three generations of, of Sony, at least. Uh, and yeah, yeah, no, let's get to it. Uh, I'm just gonna start. Uh, we have some loose games here. Uh, I, I paid $35 for this lot, by the way. Uh, and all the games are actually in pretty good condition. I was surprised. Even the PS1 games, even though they look the, like the cases look shitty, um, the games themselves are not bad. First one is uh, NFL Game Day 2002. These cases are terrible. What the hell are these? Who the fuck made these cases? They don't even close. Maybe, maybe this one just doesn't close. I don't know. Uh, here, I won't open them anymore. NBA Shootout 2002. You can see it perfectly fine. Uh, NCAA 06 Football. Uh, I forgot which NCAA game on PS2 is worth a lot. I think it's like 2011 or something like that. Um, one of them's worth a, a good amount. Uh, and Tekken 4. That's probably the best loose game out of this lot, I think. Yeah, there's no more loose games. I think that's it. All right. Now let's get on to the PS3 inbox games. You got NBA 2K11. Uh, wait, is this the one that... The one game had, like, something else in it. No, that, that one's... Uh, th I thought this was actually cool. I might keep these in my collection because I, I don't collect PS3 games, but I do have these games in my collection, mainly because they, they don't really go for much, so I don't sell them. Uh, you got Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, and Uncharted 2 uh, Game of the Year Edition, which is kind of cool. Uh, and they're both sealed. Can you see that? And I love these games, so... I might actually keep both of these. Or I guess I could bundle them together if I don't want to keep them. I don't know. Um, the best game in this lot. I'm just going to show you it right now because I, I could wait until the end, but I'm just going to show you it now. And I'm not even going to lie to you. I just sold this earlier today for $55. I just sold this game and that is Blitz the League 2. This game goes for a lot. So if you're looking for this game, um, in a, like a game store and you see it's like 15, 20 bucks or whatever, um, pick it up because it's like a $55 game. And I think it might be going up still, but it's been around the $50 range, uh, for the last couple months, uh, I already have it on 360, so I sold this copy and I made my money back, and then everything else is pretty much free, and I made a profit. It's in good condition too. So Blitz the League Two, hilariously over the top game too. It's just ridiculous, ridiculous. Duke Nukem Forever, also ridiculous, but not in a good way. <laughs> Let's just say uh, it's a very mint condition copy of Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> a little weird. Uh, well, the case is kind of messed up though, so I guess not mint because it's not not lining up right. Like I can't even close it. Whatever, I'm just shit. All right, uh, now PS2 games. I got God of War, which is actually in really good condition. That's still like a around eight eight nine dollar game. Uh, NHL 06. I think this is the game that had something different in it. No, no, uh, that's in there. Back to PS3. Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, did this have something different? In it? No, Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, I think it was one of the PS1 games. Okay, so we have more PS1 games. Uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing. Yeah, that's in there. I don't actually have that in my collection, so I'm going to keep that. I used to love those games. Uh, Namco Museum. This is the one that has something different in it. What, what was in here again? Oh, that's right. Tekken 3. Look at that. That's not bad. I love Tekken. Well, at least the originals. I haven't played any of the newer ones. Well, I played Tekken 7 a little bit, but I didn't get really into it. And, and when I say I played the original Tekken games, I never got in-in. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I was never good at those. Uh, NHL 2001. Uh, March Madness 98. And the last game, uh, Cyber Tiger. Or that guy? <laughs> Cyber Tiger. Look at him. Would, would, that, would, that, would that face do any harm to anybody? I don't think so. 
He de he definitely not doing anything involving his wife. That's for sure. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, there you go. That is the first lot of games. We went through that pretty quick. Uh, Blitz the League is definitely the best one um, of there. I mean, I made my money back and then some. And then everything else I think I'll probably just lot together. Uh, maybe I'll separate the PS3 games and put those in its own lot and PS2 in its own. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, because uh, they're all in really good condition. I was surprised by that. I was like, oh, these are going to be fucked up. And I looked at every disc and I was like, I think one was like really scratched. I think it was one. Of, I think it was that NHL game for PS2. But everything else was in really good condition. I was like, wow, okay. Right on. Hey, the cases look like shit. If you saw them in, in real life, you'd think they would sh they'd be destroyed. But no. Uh, all right. So next lot. This one, I can't decide if this is the best one. Um, I don't know. They keep swat. Like every time I think about them, I'm like, no, that one was better. No, this one was better. I think this is the best one, though. I think this is. It has to be. Um, it is a lot of um, mostly just PS2 games, but there was one surprise, and I saw a picture, and I guess nobody else saw it because it was up for, like, a good 20 minutes at this point. Uh, and it was one of those buy it now things I'm on uh, offer up, which is nice. I always love those because uh, I was just like, boop, bought it. I'm good, right? And I was. I got it. Um, and, uh, yeah, there was just one thing in there that I was like, oh, that's worth it there completely. Um, so I think it was 30 bucks plus, I think for some reason it was only $3 shipping, which is a little weird. Uh, but I guess it worked out. I mean, this is like, there's like 10 games here. There's no way $3 shipping would pay for 10 games, but uh, is there 10 games? Nine games, whatever. I was just guessing. Uh, so nine PlayStation games. Let's get to it. First one is NFA. NFL Street 2, which is still like a $25 game. Uh, I actually just sold this copy uh, for $25. Bucks, so uh, that made up most of my money there. Uh, next is NBA Street Volume 3. Uh, this still sells for around $15, $20. Bucks, and uh, it is a Blockbuster case, sadly. Well, no, that's actually cool. It just doesn't come with the manual, sadly. But Blockbuster case is actually really cool. Uh, I don't know if I have this. I think I do. I don't know. If not, then I'll keep that. Uh, NCAA football 2008, which is, you know, it's that game. I should find out all these NCAA games on PS2 are worth a lot. I know the last one is. I think that was 2000, it's either 2011 or 12. I, can, I don't remember. Uh, Major League Baseball 2K6. So far, nothing great. You can see why people skipped it. That's also a blockbuster case, though, which is kind of cool. Uh, ESPN NFL 2K5. I think this is like the last football game I actually played. Uh, I think there's something else in here. No, just the disc is like fumbling around. That's also a blockbuster case, by the way. Uh, we'll skip that for now. That's the big game. <laughs> we'll wait. Uh, Fight Night Round 2. Which is in there. Fight Night. That's a series that should come back. NFL. Uh, I'm sorry. M um, yeah, NBA Madden. Madden NFL 08. Fuck me. Uh, and the last one before the big one is Arena Football, which I think one of the Arena Football... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, there it goes. Uh, I think one of them is worth a little bit, but I, I don't know if it's that one. Last game. I saw this right here in one picture, and I was like, ooh, a mystery game. Cool. But then I saw all the other games, and I was like, I don't know. It's going to be just a football game. Uh, and I'm assuming that's why everybody skipped it. But but me being the sleuth that I am, I clicked on the link, and I looked at the other pictures, and they had... Um, every case open so you could see what this game was and i was like all right no more mystery and then what was the game well that game was silent hill hell yeah i just it's only disc only but this game still complete goes for around 130 bucks i just sold it disc only for 90 dollars so i paid around 35 36 dollars uh, maybe 37 um uh, and I sold this for 90 and everything else is free pretty much. So NFL street, I just sold that to, um, uh, NBA street. I'll sh I'm sure I'll sell if I don't have it already. Um, and then everything else, I'll probably put in a lot for like nothing. <laughs> so cool. There guy, I already have silent Hill for people that are wondering. Um, I have a complete too. So get rid of that. I have a, a better version of that too. Um, well, not a better version, but a better quality one because this one has light scratches. If it didn't have light scratches and it was perfectly fine, it, I could probably sell it for 100, maybe 105, maybe. But I mean, the scratches are it's very light, like it definitely played. But, um, all right, so there you go, that's another lot. So we got one more, and I saved 
what possibly could be the most interesting one, at least. No, it definitely is going to be the most interesting one. Um, and could possibly be the best. I have yet to really, like, compile how much, how much I would make from this. But it is the most interesting, for sure. All these games, besides one game I already had in my collection. So these are all, except for one. Actually, I'm sorry, two games. There's two games I didn't have. Um, so the rest of the games I'm selling. Um, and... Uh, those games are all on the Xbox 360. You can tell by that that shade of green. Uh, seven games. I paid sixty dollars for these, though. So I pay, I paid up for this one because they would they wouldn't drop down pretty much an inch. I was like, hey, we do fifty, and they said no. I said fifty five, and they're like, no. I'm like, all right, I guess we'll do the sixty. Um, and uh, one of them came in kind of rough condition, which was a little annoying. But for the most part, I think I did pretty good. And all these games are i don't want to spoil it i'll just show you first i got is the amazing spider-man that's still like a 20 dollars game i do not have that in the collection so i am gonna add that uh oops, shit I almost dropped that doesn't matter uh next is spider-man 3 which i did not have in the collection that's still a 15 20 game and it is complete very good condition too Next is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Didn't know, but this one did not have the manual. This is in good condition. I actually, uh, I think I just sold this. So this one I know I sold. Spider-Man Edge of Time, which is like a $25, $30 game. I just sold it for $25. It has the manual, but it has one of those like, I think that's a game. Th no, it's a red box sticker, I think. Um, and the disc has light scratches, so I sold it. Usually they sell around $30. I sold that one for $25. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I act I already have this in my collection, so I'm definitely going to get rid of this. Um, I don't know if that's complete or not. I think that is, honestly. Uh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, which is a great game. Uh, everybody should play it. Uh, and I just sold this for, I think, 32 bucks Or 30 bucks. So I pretty much made my money back there. I mean, not really, but m close. And then everything else is, like, for nothing. Um, and, uh... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Only six games. I don't know why, but this was also in Amazing Spider-Man 2. I just picked this up recently somewhere else. Sorry, only six games. My bad. Uh, so only six games. But for $60, hey, $10 a game. Some of these games are worth $30, $25. You know? Every game here is worth more than $10. So I think that was pretty good. It was the most interesting because it wasn't like sports game, sports game, sports game. You know? It's like Spider-Man. Hell yeah. You like Spider-Man? Boom! Here's some Spider-Man, baby. Enjoy that shit. Um, so hell yeah got a lot of spider-man baby look at that i'm just covered in spider-man i think that might be every spider-man game besides for that friend or foe game right yeah because you got spider-man 3 you got amazing spider-man 1 and 2 you got edge of time web of shadows and uh shadow dimensions yeah i think that's every spider-man game on 360 besides um besides friend or foe I might be forgetting something, but, um, I already have all these games, by the way, besides for the, uh, the two I mentioned. So, so all the big ones I already have is what I meant. Like the ones that are worth like 30 bucks. Anyway, there you go. That is that got some sealed games, got some Spider-Man, got some this and then got some that. So yeah, it was a good, it was a good week. It was a good week. Uh, the beginning of the year is always really good because I feel like everybody's just like trying to make extra money after they spent all their money on Christmas. Um, so it's just like, I don't got any money. I need to sell all my shit, all of it. So it's always, it's always, um, it's lucrative. Uh, business is good. You know what I mean? Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't leave a like, if you l really liked it though, leave a like also. If you only kind of like it, leave a like vote with your like count. Anyway, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Bye.